Tonight, a six investigates exclusive a Rockport police officer fights for his reputation in the ongoing battle between his department and the Aransas County District Attorney. Chief investigative reporter Rick Sproul has this, the latest in this almost year long saga. I have some old ones for my wedding, but the problem Officer is Chad Brooks believes Aransas County District Attorney Kristen Barnaby has damaged his reputation. Do you believe that she has libeled and slandered you? 100%, yeah. Yep. He's talking about Barnaby's fight with himself and the entire department. It's a fight that spilled into the public forum last year. That's when Barnaby announced her decision to stop accepting Rockport police cases unless they made some changes. It's an extreme move and it's made news before. But what's being lost in all the reporting, what we're trying to share with you, is the story of Chad Brooks. He says that Barnaby's problem with the Rockport Police Department is really a personal problem with him. I mean, there's a lot of backstory here, but the public has a lot of questions, and I think that they have a right to hear it from, from me. It's a big story that actually started very, very small on Brooks's department-issued body camera. He used it last summer to secretly record a meeting with one of Barnaby's prosecutors. Brooks says the prosecutor had unjustly accused him of being uncoachable and untrustworthy as a witness on the stand. He says he felt threatened walking into that meeting, so he hit record on the camera. What he didn't count on was how far things would go. This should have already been resolved. I mean, this, this is getting, let's be on silly. The department later turned the recording over to Barnaby's office and admonished Brooks for making it, but that wasn't enough. Almost a year and three mediations later, Barnaby and the police still aren't working together. Brooks thinks that what Barnaby really wants in all of this is his job. What do you think Kristen Barnaby wants? Oh, I, I don't know. It's, I couldn't begin to imagine, but definitely me gone. We've asked Barnaby several questions about this through the months. She hasn't responded. Instead, she created this website that went live in April and offers an in-depth explanation of why she's doing what she's doing and why she thinks Brooks can't be trusted. So since both sides have their stories, we took it to a third party. Chris Gale is a criminal civil rights and employment lawyer here in Corpus Christi. He's been paying attention to the Barnaby situation, but he didn't know about the new website until we showed it to him last week. His response speaks for itself. She has created a website. Oh, my God. He says on one hand, Barnaby is correct. The Brooks body camera video should have been turned over, and it was. I think they're probably right that they need to turn that over. But Brooks says it's not about that. He says he's done nothing wrong. And since he can't build a website or issue a press release, he hopes this report will clear up any confusion. I just appreciate the chance to be able to put my side out there. Gail agrees with Brooks and says it's not uncommon for police and prosecutors to dislike one another. He says normally they just put those differences aside and get on with the business of prosecuting crime. He says what is uncommon is watching city and county leaders stumble along for almost a year without finding a way to work it out. Who's in charge? You need to protect us. Y'all need to figure something out. If you can't, I'll find somebody else who can. Rick Sproul, Six Investigates. You know, that video recording is still up on YouTube, and we have linked it in the online version of this story for you.